Hi, welcome to Aussie Candle Supplies. My name is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest of soaps called Melt and Pour. And it's just as the name suggests, it is a melt and pour. And to do this, you just need some melt and pour soap base. You will need a pair of kitchen scales, a microwavable safe jug, some stirring implements like a spoon or skewers, some measuring cups, your soap safe fragrance or essential oil, your melt and pour base, your colour if you're going to use colour, personal care liquid dye or your micas, and of course you will need your soap moulds. So let's get started. On our website we have a range of moulds for you to choose from. Today I am going to show you how to use our soap clamshell mould, specifically for your melt and pour soap. And the beauty about this one is that you just close the lid and you have a package of soap all in one. And I'm also going to be using our arabesque mould just to show you how to put it into a mould and how to demould it after it's dry. So to make those two soaps, I need 200 grams of melt and pour soap. And the soap I'm using today is the honey soap base, which is very moisturising. It's very easy to cut using a sharp knife. It's like very soft butter. So we're just going to cut couple of chunks like so. You need a microwavable safe jug, very important. We're going to just place that on the scales and turn your scales on. Now when you're cutting up your soap it's really important to cut it into very small chunks. The smaller the chunks the more even the heat will go through and you won't be left with any lumpy bits in your soap. So here we have our soap that is all cut up into tiny chunks and we're going to place that into the microwave to melt. Before we do that, we need some cling wrap to place over the top. Now cling wrap is going to keep the moisture in your soap as you are microwaving it. When you are microwaving your soap, it's really important to do it in short bursts. I've started ours on 30 seconds. I'll go and have a look, give it a quick stir. If it needs more, I'll do another 30 seconds and then in 10 second increments. Please be patient with your soap. If you put it on too high too soon, you will burn your soap and it will have to be thrown out. It will go all lumpy and it won't be usable. So I'll go and check the soap now. So for that amount of soap, that's only taken 40 seconds to melt. I do have a very powerful microwave, so depending on your microwave, you might be a little bit more or a little bit less. Today for my soap, I'm going to use lemon and lavender. So I have measured out 30 mils of my lemon and lavender, which I am just going to add to my soap base. Give it a quick stir. If you notice that your soap is starting to congeal and go a little bit harder, just put it back into the microwave for another 10 seconds just melt it down again. Colour is optional. You can either use personal care liquid dyes, which we have on the website, or you can use a mica. When you are using the personal care dyes, they will bleed into your soap. Bleeding occurs when you have two different colours, like this one, and the top colour will bleed into the bottom one. If you're just using one colour, it makes no difference. So today I am just going to use a yellow personal care dye. I'm just going to add one drop of that because we're using lemon and lavender, so I'll make a beautiful yellow colour. Again, if you need to, pop it in the microwave and remelt it just that little bit, just so you have a really good liquid soap to work with. So these pouring jugs are an excellent soap jug. Very long, narrow spout, makes it very easy to pour. Don't worry if you get bubbles on your soap as you're pouring. This is just an aesthetic thing, and I'll show you a little trick in just a minute on how to get rid of them. So if bubbles have formed on your soap, they're easy to get rid of. You just need some isopropyl alcohol, just a couple of really quick spritzes on the top, and the bubbles will disappear instantly and you have a beautiful smooth surface on the bottom of your soap. So after you have poured your soap and you're happy with the finished product, just set them aside for a couple of hours. They will dry really quickly. I would leave them for maybe four or five hours before you demold them or even overnight. Your clamshell won't need demoulding, you just close the top, let it dry, put a sticker on it and that's ready for resale. With your arabesque, leave it for a couple of hours, turn it over, push it out and it will come out very easy. 
All of our ingredients are available today on our website at www.aussiecandlesupplies.com.au. You can also jump onto our blog where we have lots of other how-to videos and articles for you to read. If you've liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or any questions, please add them into the comments box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.